I like uh, getting kids in the mud and getting up, you know, close and personal with, you know, the coast. In your face kind of stuff. I like this part because it's so interactive and we're not inside, we're outside, we're doing something, we're having fun. It's all important to try to rebuild or nourish that marsh so we can keep it as long as we can. Hi everybody, I'm Austin Mouton and welcome to Wet Work. Today we're here in the marsh outside every island and I'm here with Mr. Mark Shirley, a wildlife specialist with the LSU Ag Center. Mr. Mark, why don't you tell us a little bit more about what we're doing today? Well Austin, uh, what we have here is our marsh maneuver camp. Uh, which is a wetland camp, coastal uh, ecology camp for 4-H uh, uh, senior kids. We're right only a couple miles from Vermilion Bay. And of course, Vermilion Bay is just a little ways across there to uh, the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, this group from a couple of different parishes around the state, we are harvesting some giant bullwhip. Giant bullwhip is a marsh grass uh, that you find in fresh intermediate marshes. And uh, we're gonna harvest it here uh, because it's so thick there's another place down the bayou that we're going to plant this grass and kind of let that grass spread out and trap a lot of silt and it's actually going to create some new marsh. I know today we're doing bullwhip and uh, I know there are different types of plants but what different types of plants are we going to plant in the future to help this okay. uh, erosion? Good question. Okay, bullwhip is a plant that's uh, uh, conducive to growing an intermediate type marsh. Okay, so Salentia's water ranges from uh, almost fresh down to maybe just a couple of parts per thousand. You really have to kind of know uh, the plant tolerance uh, and its characteristics uh, and where you're going to be planting it to have a successful planting. Okay, if you put, uh, if you put this out on the beach, it's going to die just in a few weeks. So all your work is for nothing. In other areas where, where it's saltier water, we use something called uh, smooth cord grass. Okay. And you plant that along the banks of some of these canals or uh, like Vermilion Bay or some of the other bay shores, you can plant that. It will tolerate higher salinities. Besides uh, doing this uh, stewardship project, uh, the marsh manure kids learn a lot of biology about the, uh, the marsh. They learn how these marshlands are an estuary for all little baby things to start growing. And that's why Louisiana has you know, such an abundant fisheries resource. They also have black bears out here, so kind of keep an eye out for that too. How exactly are we harvesting bullwhip? Okay, you got to get down and get dirty. I see it looks like they're standing up, but they're really not. They're kind of just sitting in, in the water. It's only about maybe 12 inches deep right there. The kids are sticking their hands down in the mud. Okay, so you just kind of work the uh, roots loose with your hands and then break off pieces and we're gonna stack them in the boats here. And once we fill up both these little boats, uh, then we'll take off down the canal and uh, go plant them in this other site. They're, they're having a good time. It's kind of gross and nasty, but uh, it's not too bad. Looks like a lot of fun. Yeah, I can't wait to jump in. I'm here with Miss Ashley Marshall. She's been interning with Mr. Mark for the past few weeks now. Now, Ashley, how how did you get involved with this? Well, actually, um, I was in 4-H for nine years, and when I was young, Mr. Mark actually asked me to come as a camper to Marsh Maneuvers, and I did not want to. Um, my mama kind of made me, and when I left this camp, I had a total different view of the environment and our earth and our ecosystem and things that are happening now. And when I went back, I was probably in the 10th grade and I told my mom, I'm going to major in a wetland major or an agriculture in some kind of way. And I did. <laughs> Let's go do some wet work. I see some plants back there. What did we just finish doing? Well, we went to a location and we pulled up bullwhip. Um, 
they usually play in either bullwhip or smooth cord grass, uh, which is Sportina Altina Flora. And um, both of them are kind of like a marsh weed, and they just take off. So what we're trying to do is we transplant from one area, and we're bringing these plants into these canals that you know the the all heads no longer used, or there's no more traffic out here, and we're filling them back in to stop some of this wave action that's going into the canals. So. In a few, let's say, years, we want this to be full of bullwhip. This should be full of bullwhip and completely packed like a carpet, um, probably in about 10 months. 10 months, wow. Um, this bullwhip will just take off and it will be completely compacted. So next year when Martian Rivers come, you should see that it's completely full. Wow, that's amazing. It is. The marsh grass that y'all planted, each, uh, each stem is gonna multiply over the next year or so and by next year, it may be five or ten feet uh, grown out. So if all those stems grow that much, uh, it's gonna pretty much fill up this old all field location and create several acres of marshland. So what is the significance of doing this marsh planting grass? You know, our main reason is hurricanes. Uh, we have hurricanes, and what happens with the marsh is whenever a hurricane comes, the marsh is like a big carpet. So it just takes it, it picks it up, and it just rolls it into another spot. But these heavy, durable uh, plants that we have, this vegetation, it stays in the ground, and it'll block wave action. You know, we've learned through marsh maneuvers that two million people live in our coastal areas, so which is a big impact. And the hurricanes have such a big impact, and that is why, because there's so much population in these southern cities and these southern towns. Right. I know there may be kids watching this, and they say, you know, I want to become a wildlife manager, I want to become a marine biologist, I want to become a wildlife specialist. How do you suggest they go and become that? One is uh, do good in school. To get in this field, you, you are going to have to have some kind of uh, college degree. But um, get as much experience as you can. So uh, there's some opportunities out there if you go find it. you got to get off the couch and turn off the TV and go, go find those opportunities. What is your favorite part about Marsh Maneuver? I like this part because it's so interactive and we're not inside, we're outside, we're doing something, we're having fun. We have fun, but it's also very educational and very, um, they learn a lot. I like getting kids in the mud and getting up, you know, close and personal with, you know, the coast. Okay, so you immerse them in all this uh, coastal ecology stuff, literally. I think you just like to get them dirty. That's right, because kids, you know, they spend too much time in front of a TV or playing a little electronic games or talking on their phone and stuff. You know, they need to get out and, you know, get away from all that stuff and experience nature up close, you know, in your face kind of stuff. There's serious work and then there's wet work. It's all important to try to rebuild or nourish that marsh so we can keep it as long as we can, okay? Uh, so your grandkids will have some, some fish to, to go catch or some shrimp to eat or crabs, or even just have a little marsh to buffer the storm effect, you know, when you build your house. The more marsh we have, the less impact these storms are gonna have. So it's important to do things like this to try to at least slow down that erosion. You know, we kind of have to treat our ecosystem like we want to be treated. Right. Keep it nice, keep it clean, take care of it. Mm -hmm. And by planning this, it does give you a sense of accomplishment. It, it also teaches them lessons about how they are helping not only themselves, but they are helping all these other people. But they're also helping the animals and um, all the environment that's around us. I'd like to thank you all for joining us here on this wet work adventure. I'd also like to thank Mr. Mark Shirley and Ms. Ashley Marceau for giving us a glimpse on the Great Camp Marsh Maneuvers. So until next time, I'm Austin Musong for Wet Work, reminding you to get soaked. Where it's saltier water, don't worry about that beak. Oh, you got that, huh?
Bunnies from orbit.